guys, I hope everyone's having an awesome day so far. For today's video, I am going to be continuing the Harry Potter saga with the third movie, The Prisoner of Azkaban. So, Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. So, what I know about Azkaban is that it is a prison for wizards, witches, and magical beings. At least that's what I can gather. Because in the last movie, Hagrid was put in Azkaban as a prisoner. So. That is literally what would make sense. So I don't know who is the prisoner. I don't know who has been imprisoned or how horrible Azkaban is, but I'm gonna be honest with you, that is a very intimidating name to name a, a plate, a, a prison. Azkaban? I don't know. It sounds scary, so therefore I'm assuming this is gonna be kind of a scary film. Another thing that I noticed that a lot of people were saying was that the first two movies were pretty lighthearted and, and family-friendly, but once it gets to the third movie and on, the Harry Potter movies become darker and a bit, um, scarier. And I kind of want to see what this shift in a theme is going to be like, and I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited to jump into it. If you guys are new to the channel thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it if by the end of the video you are interested in watching my full-length commentary so you get all of my comments my jokes my full-length review all of it the link to my patreon will be down below in the description if you're interested in that completely unedited um and i would appreciate that so without further ado let's get into harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban are you guys ready three two one Go. Like no one in the house would hear that. Hey, open the door. Ugh. Yeah, he looks exactly to be the age of 14. I feel like I can tell teenagers uh, ages, but not children. I need you to sign this form. Later, perhaps, if you behave. I will if she does. You're still here, are you? Yes. I'd say yes in that ungrateful way. He's very ungrateful that you're here. Just a small one. Excellent notch. That opening um, to the back is very pretty. I actually really like that. I want to try a little drop of brandy. <laughs> She's a horrible dog owner. Where is it you send the boy, Venom? St. Brutus's. They use a cane at St. Brutus's, boy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been beat loads of times. What is it the boy's father did for Junior? Nothing. He, did, he didn't work. And a drunk, too, no doubt. My dad wasn't a drunk. Oh! I think it's time you went to bed. It's nothing to do with the father. It's always to do with the mother. Oh! Don't you dare. Something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! Why are you insulting this boy's mother? Let me tell you. That looks extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Harry can destroy and mess with this entire family if they really tested him. He's showing what he can do. Fucking do something! <laughs> Oh. Why does Dudley look like he looks CGI for a second? Oh, he's turning her into a balloon, not not fat, just filling her with air. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, and, and that's how Vernon lost his sister. You bring her back! No! She deserves what she got. No! Keep away from me. You're not allowed to do magic outside school. Yeah? Try me. Finally, he ran away. See, this is very different than the previous two. This is very horror-esque. Very eerie, creepy, and... It's even shot differently, it feels like. Is that a triple-decker bus? What is that? Welcome to the night bus. What you doing down there? Fell over. What you fell over for? I didn't do it on purpose. Well, come on then. <laughs> he missed out on leg day, huh? Take her away, Ian. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Why did he not take Hedwig? What did you say your name was again? I didn't. But the muggles. Will they see us? Muggles? They don't see nothing. Little old lady at 12 o'clock. He's like, that's okay. I'm a drift around her. Ah! Ooh, two, one and three quarters. Yes! Yeah! She didn't feel the wind or anything like that? Who is that? That man. The prisoner of Azkaban. That is serious black. Don't tell me you've never been here in a serious black. 
He's a murderer. Called it. Called it. How did he escape? Well, that's the question. He's the first one that done it. He was a big supporter of you know who. I don't know how to explain it, but oh, that's not good. Young Daniel Radcliffe <coughs> and young Robert Pattinson have the same energy to me. Ah, Mr. Potter. Take her away, huh? Yeah, take it away. Headway. He arrived here just five minutes before yourself. No thanks to you, Harry, abandoning Hedwig like that. Your uncle's sister was located a little south of Sheffield. She will have no recollection of the incident and no harm done. Except you can't come back to Hogwarts. Minister? Yes. I broke the law. The ministry doesn't send people to Azkaban for blowing up their aunt. Oh, these are your new school books. Oh, that's so nice. Harry! Harry! They're all growing up. From Belgium. Harry. Mrs. Weasley. Good to see you. All of your clothes. Everything's there. Good boy. Harry, wonder if I might have a word. Yeah, sure. Harry, I want you to swear to me that whatever you might hear, you won't go looking for black. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? I don't know, Harry. You have a very strange thought process. I would not put it past him to do that. I really do think he would look for somebody trying to murder him and then be like, why are you trying to murder me? I was lucky not to be expelled. Come on, everywhere else is full. How is it she knows everything? Do you think he's really asleep? Seems to be. Why? I've got to tell you something. They're not being very quiet or respectful about him trying to sleep. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. He's a murderous, raving lunatic. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> What's going on? This is way more horror themed. It's so eerie. What is that? Please, I would shut the door on him. I would honestly be like, no, no, close. <laughs> They put a Snapchat filter on him? What's happening? Thank you. Here, eat this. It'll help. It's all right. It's chocolate. What was that thing? It was a Dementor. That's a Dementor? Why did try to eat Harry then? So a Dementor is a scary creature that guards Azkaban. Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Now, I'd like to say a few words. First, I'm pleased to welcome Professor R.J. Lupin, who's kindly consented to fill the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. That sounds like a good role for him, granted what he just did on the train. Hogwarts play host to the Dementors of Azkaban. That's terrifying. Even just knowing you live in the universe where those things exist is mortifying. I'd be so afraid. I would, I'd just be like, I, I can't be here. Those they're too scary. I am Professor Trelawney. This time we shall be focusing on tesomancy, which is the art of reading tea leaves. The truth lies buried like a sentence deep within a book waiting to be read. I love this classroom. The vibe of this classroom is so nice. Mm -hmm. Well, Harry's got sort of a wonky cross, so uh, you're gonna suffer, but you're gonna be happy about it. What? Oh! Oh! Ah! It's among the darkest omens in our world. Oh. Omen of death. That's what, that's the dog that he saw right before the crazy bus got him. Right, you lot. Less chattering. Form a group over there. Hagrid. Exactly what is that? That run is a hippogriff. First thing you want to know about hippogriffs is that they're very proud creatures. Griffins with hippos? No. Who'd like to come and say hello? Well done, Harry. You have to let him make the first move. He's pooping. He's mid poop. He's nice low. So fast, Harry. Uh, now let him come to you. Yes. I think he may let you ride him now. What? Harry. The wing joint. <laughs> oh! What? Once I saw the wings come out, I was like, okay, yeah, that's gonna be a flight. It's like a Pegasus chicken. It's really odd to see such an uplifting scene with so much grayscale and not really much color at all. It seems very dead. That's strange to see. It's kind of cool. Yes, you're not dangerous at all, are you? you oh! 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 He has to be taken to the hospital. I'm the teacher. I'll do it. Oh. He's such a wimp. He's a... Oh. Now, can anybody tell me what a boggart looks like? No one knows. When she gets here. Let's practice it now. Uh, without ones. Ridiculous. 
Very good. What really finishes a boggart is laughter. You need to force it to assume a shape you find truly amusing. <laughs> amusing! Thanks. Immediately looks at Neville. Come on. And bring the class punching bag yeah. up. What frightens you most of all? Professor Snape. Professor <laughs> Snape. <laughs> oh, no way. And I believe you live with your grandmother. I want you to picture her clothes, only her clothes, very clearly in your mind. Now, when I open that wardrobe, here's what I want you to do. I feel like this is a weird king. It's weird to do. One at the ready. One, two, three. Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone form a line. They're gonna bully the entire, the freaking Bogart. Bogart. I want everyone to picture the thing they fear the very most and turn it into something funny. Wrong. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I don't like the way his legs do that. Ugh. Ridiculous! <laughs> That's the end of the lesson. Thank you. All right, Harry, let's have a chat. What just happened there? Professor, can I ask you something? Before I fainted, I heard something. I wouldn't scream. I think it was my mother. Your mother was there for me at a time when no one else was. He had a way of seeing the beauty in others, even and perhaps most especially when that person could not see it in themselves. Sounds like he kind of loved her. And your father, James, on the other hand, he, uh, he had a certain, shall we say, talent for trouble. I was about to say, just like Harry? You're more like them than you know, Harry. In time, you'll come to see just how much. What's going on? The fat lady, she's gone. Was she killed by a Dementor or something? I feel like he's gonna blame Harry. Dear lady, who did this to you? It's him, it was. Is he a serious black? Oh. <laughs> and no other painting saw, oh, well, they were all like this and freaking out, so that would make sense. I think Snape is like the coolest professor, to be honest. He'd be my favorite. Which one of you can tell me the difference between an animagus and a werewolf? An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. With each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. Do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? Oh, yikes. Two rolls of parchment on the werewolf with particular emphasis. It's... Sir, it's Quidditch tomorrow. And I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. Okay, Sirius Black is a werewolf. I'm calling it. Why else would they be learning werewolf? That's who was chasing Harry. It wasn't the, uh... The omen. Stop trying to steal Harry's soul, please. Arresto momentum. There's a Something else you should know too, Harry. Um, your broom, it blew into the Whomping Willow and... So beautiful. He doesn't really have a home to go back to, huh? Ah, guys, let me go! Oh. What are you doing? Shh. What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says? This is Hogwarts. Is that really... Dumbledore. In his study. Pacing. Does that a lot. So you mean this map shows... Everyone. Everyone? All the time? Oh, and Harry, don't forget, when you're done, just give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. Everybody just jokes on Neville. Poor punching bag of the entire show and movie. Well, well, look who's here. You two shopping for your new dream home? Shut your mouth, Malfoy. Ooh, not very friendly. <laughs> I love that. They're gonna be like, oh, it's a ghost. It's just Harry. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out <of> the way! <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry. That was not funny. <laughs> that was really funny. We have a killer on the loose. Oh, Sirius Black, he hogs me. And what would bring him here? Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Oh, shh. Oh. Now, tell me what this is all about. Not only did Black lead you know who to the Potters that night, but he also killed one of their friends, Peter Petty. I remember him. Never let James and Sirius out of his sight. Stop breathing so heavily. Black was vicious. He didn't kill Petty. He destroyed him. Sirius Black may not have put his hands to the Potters, but he's the reason they're dead. What could be worse? 
best Sirius Black was and remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. What? He says godfather? I like how they're completely oblivious to, to Harry Potter. To Harry just eavesdropping. I feel like they would know. Give him a hug. Harry, what happened? He was their friend and he betrayed them. I hope he finds me. When he does, I'm gonna kill him. My most hated season is spring. Oh, it's just like wet and it's freezing in the morning and then hotter during the day. It's just, ugh, everything's just wet and the bugs come out. Now the spell I'm going to try to teach you is called the Patronus Charm. You need to think of a memory. Just any memory, a very happy memory. Can you do this? I hate that. It, he's so... I'm also afraid of them. I didn't expect you to do it the first time. Let's give it a try. They're too scary. I don't like them. Expecto Patronum! Well done. He thinks it helps. It really helps. I feel like the, the chocolate has drugs in it or something. Why does he have so much out of hand? Beautiful day. Gorgeous. Unless, of course, you've been ripped to pieces. Ripped to pieces? What are you talking about? Ronald has lost his rat. Your cat killed him. Rubbish. How'd it go, Hagrid? The hearing. First off, committee members took turns talking about why we were there. Jacket looks like it's made out of Chewbacca. And then Lucius Malfoy got out. Well, you can imagine, he said. Buckbeak was a deadly and dangerous creature who would kill you as soon as look. And then he asked for the worst. Did old Lucius? Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. What? Because Malfoy's a dirt bag? We should kill Malfoy instead. Buckbeak's Buckbeak is a is a cool guy. He's just like so sweet. I love that chicken horse. Snape is also not asleep. Potter. I'm sleepwalking. How extraordinarily like your father you are, Potter. He too was exceedingly arrogant. Now, if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. They're trying to sleep. Turn out your pockets. Reveal your secrets. <gasps> Shoot! Read it. Messrs. Mooney offer their compliments to Professor Snape and request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Professor, out for a little walk. Apparently everyone is, every teacher is. So I don't know why you're surprised, Snape. Take a look, Lupin. It's supposed to be your area of expertise, clearly. It looks to me as though it's merely a parchment designed to insult anyone. Nevertheless, you should investigate any hidden qualities it may possess. Harry, would you come with me, please? Clearly as a favorite. Now, I haven't the faintest idea, Harry, how this map came to be in your possession. Did it never occur to you that this, in the hands of Sirius Black, is a map to you? What did I say? Harry was going to try and find Sirius Black. I will not I'd cover agree. up for you again, Harry. I don't think that map always works. Earlier on, it showed someone in the castle, someone I know to be dead. That's not possible. But I can keep the hippogriff's head. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's here. Hermione, no! <laughs> I like that he's crying. Good. <laughs> oh, oh, good. No. I Let's love go. you, Hermione. She's the best. <laughs> All he did was scratch a stupid kid, as he should have. He should have done worse, honestly, but. Ron. Scabbers! You're alive! Blimey! Ow! Hagrid. Quick, quick! I hope that they release him. They have to. No, no. I thought I just saw... Let's go. They're not gonna help him? This is so trash. Oh, help him. Stop, they're not gonna kill him. <laughs> Why they have to kill him? I hate Malfoy so much. Oh, you bit me. Yeah, you deserve it because you didn't do anything. Wait. That's not good. Run, run. Harry, I'm hiding. Run. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Bye, Ron. <laughs> See you later. Come on. Oh, yes. Like, it's like hopscotch or like jump rope. Just keep go. Oh, oh, she. Bye. Don't be. She, she, you needed a, like a landing thing. It's Harry. It's a trap. He's a dog. He's an animagus. 
You want to kill Harry, you'll have to kill us too. Only one would die tonight. Then it'll be you! Why does he want to kill Harry so bad? We've already had enough death today. I'm spinning out of us! Oh, well, serious looking rather ragged, aren't we? Well, you'd know all about the madness within, wouldn't you, Remus? Why is there always one evil professor at Hogwarts? It's like a thing. Every movie, there's an evil professor or one that just really sucks. You betrayed my parents. You're the reason they're dead. No, honey, it wasn't him. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. See this room? Right now. Oh, come out of play. <laughs> Snape just always around. I told Dumbledore you were helping an old friend into the castle. Now, if you'll excuse us, Remus and I have some unfinished business to attend to. Just don't be a fool. He can't help but it's happy by Serious, now. be quiet! Don't yourself, Remus! Dementors, they're so longing to see you. He doesn't like the Dementors, apparently. Please. After you. Expelliarmus! What? He's been saving... Harry, Harry is like... Tell me about Peter Pettigrew. He was at school with us. We thought he was our friend. But he's right there. It's mental. No. Oh. You're right! He was just in the middle of explaining that. Oh, it's this guy! No wonder they turned him into, he, he turned into a rat. <laughs> Harry, look at you. You look so much like your father. Friends How you dare know. you speak to Harry? <laughs> There's so much drama going on. I'm such a furious. What would you have done? I'm gonna die rather than betray my friends! This man... I know what he is, but we'll take him to the castle. I feel like it's gonna be way worse than just killing him. I said we take you to the castle. After that, the Dementors can have you. Ooh, Harry's gotten dark. Harry got scary! That grime. Well, I just didn't think my dad would have wanted his two best friends to become killers. James and Lily made me your godfather. Yeah, I wonder what he they, what he's seen over those last 12 years pretending to be an animal. Must be crazy. If you ever wanted a different home... Come and live with you. Well, it's, it's, it's just a thought I can understand oh. if you don't want to. Harry! Remus, my old friend. You know the man you truly are, Remus. This heart is where you truly live. Like they are the... <laughs> Ew! I didn't like that transition. Get him! No, get him! Get him! There you are. Potter. Snape always to the rescue. Snape is like the dad that bullies everyone. He's like, it, it's like the tough love dad. Like he bullies you, but he like will always protect you and be there for you. Serious! <laughs> So they just lost Peter and him, and they're stuck with Sirius Black, and... Oh, this is such a mess. How are they gonna clean any of this up right now? Sirius! No, not the... Oh, Harry has to face a Dementor now. Expecto a It's like several Grim Reapers trying to kill them. That's so scary. I also thought there was not that many. Oh, oh, what, what is this, Princess Mononoke? So that was his soul. Thank you, forest entity. That was very kind of you. What is it, the I saw my dad. third or, or fourth time Harry's passed out in this movie? Listen, Harry, they've captured Sirius. Any minute, the demanders are going to perform the kiss. They've got the wrong man! It's true, sir. I'm sorry to say the word of three 13-year-old wizards will convince few others. Oh, they're 13. Dang it. I thought they were 14. I was so close. Mysterious thing, time. Sirius Black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it, I think. Dumbledore's such a G. Sorry, Ron, but seeing as you can't walk. That's so cool. The second that he said time is a strange thing, I immediately was like, they're gonna turn back time. Were <laughs> they mummifying someone? Or unmummifying? They were unmummifying. What just happened? Where were we at 7.30? <gasps> I don't know, go save. to Hagrid's. Come on, and we yes, can't be yes. seen. They can save the chicken horse now, too! Oh, and then I'm gonna be so happy. 
This is a time turner, Harry. You mean we've gone back in time? Yes. We know already. Save the horse chicken and then punch him again. Uh, Malfoy. Remember what Dumbledore said. If we succeed, more than one innocent life could be spared. <laughs> <gasps> and that's who Hermione saw earlier in the trees behind them. It was them. We aren't leaving. Ow! Mom, we're coming out the back door. Go! Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? I would think the same thing. I thought I just saw... Never mind. <laughs> I guess out of res- you gotta- you gotta go and bow to it and stuff. Yeah. Alright. I saw the beast just now. We must touch the grass. So touch the skies if you must, Minister. Dumbledore does not care. And now we wait. Hermione, down by the lake when I was with Sirius, did see someone. That someone made the Dementors go away. Only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. It was my dad who conjured the Patronus. Sorry, your, your dad's dead, I know. I'm just telling you what I saw. How is that possible? Yeah, I was I was thinking that, but like, I don't think you'd do it from the grave unless he like knew this was gonna happen. See Sirius talking to me there. Mm-hmm. He's asking me to come and live with him. You do it. Saving your life. This all makes so much sense! Wait, now it's coming for us. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Run! <laughs> Serious. Come on. What about Buckby? Bring him. You can fly you guys out. This is horrible. Don't worry. My dad will come. I think it's them, not the dad. No one's coming. Don't worry, he will. Hey. Expecto Patronum. What did he think of? Maybe them living together? Sirius being best friends with his dad? Hermione, it wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was me. That's crazy. Now how the, how do they go back with the whole time thing? What happens? Now they're existing at the same time, but what do they do? I'll be forever grateful for this. I want to go with you. One day, perhaps, you're meant to be here. But you look so like your father. Well, everyone says that he acts like his father in, in like a mean way. You really are the brightest witch of your age. Yeah, she is. I called it. I knew Sirius was going to be a good guy all along. They always paint people in the bad light or wrong light. It's constant with Harry Potter. I'm, I'm noticing the trends now after my third film. He's free. We did it. Did what? Good night. <laughs> I love Dumbledore. And it just fades. Nice. What's he talking about, Harry? Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? That always makes me sad. I don't like it. It's sacked. No, I resign. They can't just have the same staff for more than one year. It seems that somebody let slip the nature of my condition. Besides, people like me are, well, let's just say that I'm used to it by now. I wish I had magic so I could pack and clean my room and everything. That'd be so cool. Why do you look so miserable, Harry? None of it made any difference. Let it go escape. Harry, it made all the difference in the world. You helped uncover the truth. You saved an innocent man from a terrible fate. Since I am no longer your teacher, I feel no guilt whatsoever about giving this back to you. <laughs> Such a G. So now I'll say goodbye, Harry. It's so funny with the character plot twists. Like sometimes you're like, oh, this guy's good. JK, he's evil, and then he stays evil. Or it's like, hey, he's evil. Just kidding, he's good. And then sometimes a bit, like right now, it was like, hey, he's awesome. JK, is he evil? No, he's not. Like, <laughs> I always get thrown off with the characters. They, they know how to play us. Harry, wherever did you get it? Can I have a go, Harry? I, I didn't mean to open it, Harry. I, I, it was badly wrapped. They made me do it. You did not. Oh, the broomstick? Oh. Who sent it? 
No one knows. This came with it. We know. Thanks, Sirius. Now he's his family. I love that. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. It was a little bit more eerie, but it was still Harry Potter. It was still just, I don't know, fun. So I finally finished watching the third Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which turned out to be Sirius Black, which was Harry's father's one of his best friends, so he turned out to be Harry's godfather. The story twisted and turned quite a lot, and I'm realizing this trend with Harry Potter is that there's a lot of he said, she said in these films, and it really makes you question if somebody's intentions are good or bad, because other people will say this man is like evil, but then he turns out to be like a really good guy, until Harry... <laughs> puts himself in the situation and clears it up. I, I still cannot get over the fact that every time there's an issue, Harry is the one to clear it up. What I really wanted to say is that this film was vastly different than the previous two. This, you can tell there was a big tonal shift. It was a lot more eerie and it had really darker tones, more cold tones, higher contrast, less uh, vibrant colors. It wasn't as childlike in my opinion. So you can tell that it was basically different people worked on uh, this film. And I I think it was pretty cool. I actually really, really liked this movie a lot. I feel like the previous two movies, it didn't dive so much into the wizarding world, but this one did. Like this one, you get to see like Bogart, Bogarts and you know, like werewolves and you get to see them in action, right? You get to see, it's not just a clip. It's like something that is kind of ongoing. You're learning this for a reason and it's used in the movie to your advantage, to the wizard or witch's advantage. And I find it to be really cool to be done in practice so yeah um i thought that was really cool and you kind of really got a taste of what it was like to be in the wizarding world rather than just an observer you felt like you were actually kind of there i just really liked that they used the time it made you realize that when you paid attention to the details the details are what mattered and then when you went when hermione and harry went back in time they changed these minor details or you notice these minor details to be them which is it already happened and it just kind of gave the film more depth, which was I found to be really enjoyable. I feel like I've been rambling so much, but there's a lot in this movie that I really, really liked, and I hope that you guys enjoyed as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone!